Hello, my name is Dark Moon Doll, and on Wednesdays I do this show called Freeform Dreadlock Talk. Freeform Dreadlock Talk is a show where I talk to you about my experience with having freeform dreadlocks for 19 years thus far. <laughs> um, I talk about also uh, things that have damaged my hair through the years, um, mainly putting it in really tight constricting styles towards the beginning of my journey and using chemical uh, dye on my hair in the beginning of my journey. Excuse me. <laughs> Need something to drink. So today I just wanted to talk to you guys about, um, you know, when the pieces, that, like if you have little loose bits that come off of your the ends of your dreads, <clears throat> a lot of people worry about that. Like, oh God, my hair's falling out. If you think about it, you have freeform dreadlocks. You don't comb your hair on a regular basis. So you're going to have, you know, pieces like weak parts at the bottom that fall off. I mean, that's just a given. Now, if you were to comb your hair every day, you would have tons of hair coming out all the time. But with, at least from my experience, I'm not saying this is an actual, absolute fact for everybody's head, but I think what happens is your hair has to, some bits have to come off. Um, that's just what I think, you know, because, um, like I said, if you think about it, people that use combs or brushes or putting all kinds of like uh, gels and things like that in the hair that can be very damaging, um, their hair comes out easily, they're combing it out, coming out all of the stuff. But with dreadlocks, that kind of thing doesn't happen. If it comes off, it's like a little bit on the end or whatever. <clears throat> now, I don't think anybody should worry about things like that. I think the more that people worry about their their dreadlocks, their appearance, the more it reflects how your dreads are going to be, the healthiness of your dreads. By like coming, embarking on this journey of freeform dreadlocks, it's about letting go, letting go of what you think is acceptable in social settings, letting all of that go. When you let all that go, then you don't think about things like that. That also wanted to mention, when I have the little pieces that come off on the end, those are weak spots. So why would you want to keep a weak spot on? When I when those weak spots do come off, I put them, uh, I, I burn them. That's basically what I do, I burn them. It does a burn, it's dead hair, burn off the energy and be done with it. <clears throat> it's also uh, a Native tr American tradition. Um, my mom used to do it. She's half Native American and half Jewish. So um, that's her heritage, or was her heritage when she was alive. So yeah, just be happy with the way your hair looks. Uh, don't be so obsessed with your outer appearance. That's the whole purpose of this. So thank you for joining me today for uh, Free Fun Dreadlock Talk. I hope you learned something from it today, and I hope you share it with your friends and family. Thank you for your likes and shares. Thank you for um, yeah, subscribing to this channel. <laughs> and um, if you have any comments about freeform dreadlocks, put them in the comment section below. So get outside and have a great day. Enjoy Mother Earth. Alrighty, guys. Peace.